What's up guys, this is Chris, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how to wrap your boat steering wheel. Actually, it'll work for any steering wheel. I know some people that actually do this in their own uh, vehicles, but this not only protects your wheels, guys, it just looks plain cool. So follow along and I'll show you guys how to do it. All right guys, so you're gonna need the scissors, the lighter, and the paracord. Another thing I would recommend, it's not uh, needed, um, but maybe just get some uh, spray wax or some sort of uh, cleaner for your wheel. You know, make sure it's all cleaned up before you do it. All I did was use uh, this by Chemical Guys V7 and then a microfiber. Just wipe it down. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to start this wrap off. This is probably the hardest process to doing this whole thing, and it's fairly simple. Take the tag in, or the, just the end of your paracord, create a pretty big loop so you can get your hands through there take it, grab it here so you, ha you have all the, the cord in your hand, simply run it through, and that's it guys, uh, you would, you're going to take this uh, tag in here, snip it off, and uh, burn it, and that's going to cinch it down, but I'm going to do that later in the video for the ending of the wrap in the beginning. Alright guys, so after you guys start up here, this is where I started in the last frame, you guys are just going to want to follow a pattern all the way through. The pattern's kind of difficult, uh, believe it or not, it's just over, under, over, under, and when I say difficult, I say you can lose your train of thought if you're not thinking about it the entire time, and you'll have to backtrack a little bit. I've had to do that a couple times, but once you get in a rhythm, I mean, the beginning was kind of rough, you know, you're just trying to get a feel for it, but once you get a rhythm, guys, it's actually pretty simple. So here I just went under, now I'm gonna go over. So what you're gonna do is take your nice organized paracord as you see that I have here. Actually guys, try and keep it as organized as possible. Sometimes it can be a little tricky, but it really does help. So I'm gonna go over this time, so I'm gonna create a loop under the wheel. Take my hand and feed the rest of the paracord through. That'll just create a loop there, or a circle around the wheel. And then you just wanna cinch it down. So there I went uh, over. Now I want to go under. So you want to create a loop here. Bring your cord through. Cinch her on down. So you're just going to want to continue to do that pattern. Um, you know just try and focus on the actual pattern itself because if you lose focus you have to backtrack a couple times. You want to keep get this as tight as possible. When you get it, the tighter you get it, the nicer it looks. So just get it nice and tight. Um, you can actually wet the cord and it'll help. Um, or you can pour boiling hot water over the steering wheel and that'll help the cord tighten up. But that's just optional, guys. You definitely don't have to do that. So I'm just going to time lapse through this because I know you guys don't want to see all this, but um, I'm going to show you guys the finished product here in about 30 minutes whenever I'm done. Alright guys, I am officially done with this wheel wrap. Um, I'm going to be honest, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. It probably took me about an hour and a half uh, to get it all done. I mean, I did stop for about 10 minutes earlier and went inside to get a drink of water because it is extremely hot out here. But here, I ended with uh, underhand. Um, it doesn't really matter, just make sure you know you get all the way to the end, get it as tight as possible. Um, and to end this, what you guys want to do you guys want to snip these and then we're going to take our lighter and then uh, melt them down and just kind of spread it over the top so just make sure it's nice and tight put it like that that's pretty close so one out a little bit more. There we go. So 
what we're gonna want to do is take our lighter, heat that up, and cinch them together. I cut mine a little short actually guys so you kind of want it like this but this one was cut a little bit short so I'm gonna melt it down at the bottom here and then I'm just melting it right here at the knot to make sure it's nice and tight See this one, we're going to burn it and then kind of spread it over. So it kind of, you're just adhesing it to the paracord. Hopefully you guys can see that. Alright guys, so that's your finished product. Um, right there I burnt it a little bit, but it's alright. Probably will just wear off after a while. But this is the finished product guys. You can see where I messed up right there. I couldn't get it to kind of come, come down. But that's alright. Overall I think it looks pretty good. Changes the look of the boat tremendously in my opinion. Makes it look um, a lot more sharp. I mean, if you guys... Uh, see the Pathfinder in other videos it has a blue outside hull and a white uh, Yamaha so it accents it very nice alright guys I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial on how to wrap your boat steering wheel the biggest thing guys is making sure to keep your paracord organized when you're going under and or over and under just because I probably spent an extra 30 minutes out here for absolutely no reason just because my rope did not stay organized in my right hand so that's the biggest thing. Other than that, it's pretty simple, guys. Just the over and under technique. The only thing that you need is a little bit of time and patience. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. And let me know what color you guys want the second uh, station wheel. Uh, we're thinking maybe like a blue camo with blue and white or blue and black. We'll see what y'all's opinions are too. But make sure you guys subscribe to the page for more and have a good day.